COVID-19 rules are put in place for a reason, to mitigate the spread of the virus and prevent the healthcare system from disintegrating even further. Though the enforcement of these rules can often expose double standards, depending on who or what you are in the social hierarchy, it's safe to say there's a good place for these safety measures. However, when penalizing people who are caught flouting said rules, how much is too much? Going backwards, authorities in Jingxi City, located in China's Guangxi region, apparently don't think public shaming crosses that line of decent morality. COVID-19 rule breakers in the back of a truck. Image, at make 809588 Twitter. In disturbing footage circulating on social media, local authorities can be seen parading supposed COVID-19 rule breakers around the city in the back of a police truck and then eventually on foot as curious onlookers watch. Guangxi Jingxi 2021 Shibian in Jian Chang Jia Xian Chang Pick. Twitter.com slash subscu My at make 809588 December 28, 2021. Said violators can be seen in white hazmat suits, along with placards around their neck that show photos of their faces, as well as their names. Accompanying, the mayor police officers, also in white hazmat suits. The violators' crime, transporting illegal migrants which flouts China's strict border restrictions at this time. So yes, the would-be rule breakers errand. Exactly saints but there's a limit for everything, ISNT there. Hash we and Jay Shi Feng Yi, Guang Shi Jing Shi Yu Jia Shi Zhang Pick. Twitter.com slash KG.SOX. Xin Wei and Pai and Jing Chi at xwpajq underscore day December 28, 2021. While the nature of the punishment is questionable at best, the spectacle makes one wonder why it was even allowed to happen in the first place, especially when you consider the fact that such a practice like public shaming in China was outlawed back in 2010. Back then, shame parades were often used to crack down in prostitution. State-owned Beijing News weighed in on the matter, saying the measure seriously violates the spirit of the rule of law and cannot be allowed to happen. Do you agree with this practice? Read more life stories. Within three months in 2021, Malaysians lost over 9 million United States dollars to spam calls. Titus Lowe is Singapore's first OnlyFans creator charged for obscene content. Did deforestation cause the Pahang floods? Here's what we know so far. Cover image sourced from at make 809588 Twitter and at xwpajq underscore day Twitter.